She down there cooking some damn spam. Be them samples. Hey everyone, it's Mike at Fragrance back at it again with another video. In today's video, I took my favorite fragrance from every single house in my collection, almost every single house. I didn't include the Michael Jordan cologne. I didn't include Salvang. So unfortunately, those fragrances are not going to be featured in this video. The Herba Pure cologne, I didn't throw in. Um, but these are, you know, like 100% serious houses, you know, they're not really, I mean, I have a few clone houses in here, by a few, I have like two, um, but pretty much otherwise we have, you know, designer brands, um, one niche brand technically, but I figured let's hop into this. I'm just going to try and do this all in one take, otherwise this will take forever to edit. And keep in mind, I'm just going to tell you what they smell like. I, there's not going to be a note breakdown or anything or else this video would be one, way too long and hard to edit, and two it would just be a much longer video. So I'll give you guys just a simple little note breakdown. Um, if you guys do want to actually see what these fragrances smell like, um, you know, if you want to see a full review, I should have reviews of pretty much all of these fragrances up, um, whether it's a long form or a short form review. But let's hop in now in the first fragrance coming from the house of Davidoff is Davidoff's Cool Water EDT. This is a fresh, herbally green fragrance. Very nice, came out in the 80s. People say it's outdated, I disagree. Um, good fragrance. You know, it's also my only fragrance from Davidoff, so that is why it gets that number one spot. We will have a couple more fragrances like that. You know, they're the only fragrance I have from that house, so they automatically have a buy. We have another example right now with Gucci, and it's the Gucci Guilty Elixir. Don't even have a full bottle of this. I just have a little sample, but this is a nice, almost like minty vanilla fragrance. Like, it really gives me a mint vibe, even though there isn't any mint listed, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's a decent smelling fragrance, although to me, it's a little more feminine. My girlfriend likes to put this on and it actually smells really good on her. Now I do like this. Would I buy a bottle for myself? Maybe. Would I buy a bottle for my girlfriend? Maybe as well. Um, but again, that one just kind of gets a buy because it's the only fragrance I have from Gucci. Same thing with this one with the house of Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo Man EDT. This is a woody citrusy fragrance, very attractive, nice, masculine, doesn't last that long, like four to six hours. Great smell, and one of my first introductions to fragrances. Um, great fragrance, but of course it gets that buy because it's the only fragrance I have from that house. From Mont Blanc, which I have a decent amount of Mont Blanc fragrances. My favorite is Mont Blanc Legend EDT, Clona Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. Woody, fruity, citrusy, nice little hint of vanilla. Has a nice apple note in there. It has a rose note as well. Very beautiful fragrance. Lasts like six to seven hours on my skin. Masculine, you can wear this whenever, wherever. Never a bad time to wear this. My favorite Mont Blanc, and I don't, it wasn't my first Mont Blanc, but just a great fragrance. So that's why it's my favorite Mont Blanc. Next one, this one gets a buy as well because it's the only one I have in the house. The house of uh, Guy La Roche, I think, is the house, but it's Dracar Noir. Dracar Noir, another legendary fragrance that came out in the 80s. Nice, sure, old school smelling, not outdated though. It has a nice, like, musky vibe to it. Very nice, classic smelling fragrance. Slightly spicy, slightly sweet at the same time. This has to have like some tobacco or something in there. Great fragrance. This used to be my stepdad's, but he gave it to me. Um, great fragrance, but again, gets that buy because it's the only house, or it's the only fragrance from that house that I have. Next one from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, which I have two. I went with light blue EDT. I picked this over Dolce & Gabbana, the one, just because, I don't know, like, you know, a lot of people smell this fragrance and just really, really like it. Same thing with Dolce & Gabbana, the one. But this one, they last around the same time. And honestly, if it comes up to that, I'd rather I'd rather have a fragrance I can wear in the warm weather and cool weather. Opposed to something that, yes, you can still wear the one in warmer weather, but it's better in cooler weather. Also, I feel like my mom really likes light blue. My girlfriend really likes light blue. A lot of people really love light blue. It's a very legendary fragrance, so that's why it deserves the number one spot. Next, we have another single one, so that's why it gets this by the house about a uh, Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works Oak. This probably my first ever introduction to fragrances: spicy, sweet, bourbony oak, very, very nice. Now, this fragrance got discontinued. It was like thirty bucks for this. I believe it's a three point four ounce, but now since it's been discontinued, it's this stuff goes for like two hundred dollars. Crazy, but. Such a relaxing scent to me, such a nostalgic scent to me as well. But again, only have one fragrance from that house, so that's why it gets the number one spot. But still, I absolutely love that fragrance. Brings a lot of good memories back. Next, from the house of Hugo, we have Hugo Boss Energize. I picked this one over Dark Blue and Extreme because 
It has a very nice use of, jun of juniper berry. My girlfriend is allergic to juniper within fragrances and just juniper in general. For whatever reason, this fragrance doesn't give her a reaction, but I love juniper heavy fragrances. Otherwise, it's citrusy, it's woody, it's powdery. Very, very nice scent. Decent longevity as well. The first few times I wore this, didn't get the best longevity, but ever since I've been wearing this, probably like the last two or three times, I've gotten all day longevity. Great fragrance. It's cheap as well. Next one from the House of Guess is Guess Womo Aqua. I have Guess Seductive EDT. That's another great fragrance, but I picked this one because it smells like Blue Day Chanel with added aquatics, but I don't like Blue Day Chanel. So if that gives it any justification on why it won number one, you know, it makes me like a fragrance that I didn't like or a fragrance DNA that I don't really like. Um, but Guess Womo Aqua, great. Like I said, smells like Blue Day Chanel with aquatics. You can make it a signature scent very easily. Nice. And this one is super cheap as well, but that's why it deserves the number one spot. We have another buy in this one, and it's from the House of Tommy Hilfiger, and it's Tommy Hilfiger Vibrant Summer. Nice. Coconut sunscreen type scent. Don't buy this expecting LeBeau. Rather expect just a coconut sunscreen scent. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, though, nonetheless. Also, me and my girlfriend have matching fragrances, so she has the Tommy Girl Vibrant Summer. Other than that, I mean, I don't have any Tommy Hilfiger fragrances, so that is why it gets the buy, but it's still a really good fragrance that I do enjoy. Next one, we have another buy. One thing I've noticed, we actually have a lot of buys. I have a decent amount of fragrances that I have a couple fragrances from their house. Then I have a decent amount that I just have one fragrance from them, and I'm just now realizing that. But now from the house of Dior, we have Dior Homme Cologne, simple three-note breakdown, lavender, vet, or not lavender, um, bergamot vetiver and mandarin blossom i want to say i was thinking of the born in roma intense note breakdown for whatever odd reason it smells like a refreshing lemonade super super good longevity isn't the best it's a cologne formulation beautiful citrusy lemonade type scent amazing for the warm weather and i'm sure even if i had like sauvage or sauvage elixir i might like this one over i just love this fragrance next another one that gets a buy and we have three in a row after this so i guess four because we just had Actually, five, because we just had Tommy Hilfiger and Dior. So we'll have the next three are going to be buys because I only have one. So total last two and these three may, will make five fragrances in a row that get a buy. Um, but from the house of Mason Alhambra, we have Bright Peach, Clona Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. Very nice. has peach, obviously. It has cognac. has patchouli. Very nice. Boozy scent. Not like overly boozy, though. It, it, like if, if you get pulled over. Cops aren't going to think that you're drunk or anything like that, obviously. But that's a question I've been asked a lot. Like, how prominent is that cognac note? Really not prominent. Smells like those gummy peach rings. Beautiful scent. And I love this a lot. Next one, like I said, a buy from the house of Christopher Lee Fragrances. Honey water. Really realistic honey, lavender, vanilla scent. Christopher Lee sent this fragrance out to me. Beautiful. It's X-Rate de Parfum. Lasts a long, long time. I'm talking all-day performance. This is just a really good fragrance, and I really do like it. I do want to get some more from his brand because I do enjoy this fragrance, but great fragrance, and I'm sure even if I had some other ones, I'd probably like that one the most. Now, getting to the end of that little five bypass run, I suppose you could say, we'll have Halloween Man EDT, my only Halloween Man fragrance. Supposedly smells like one million. This is fruity. It's warm, spicy, nice and vanilla heavy. Great fragrance. This stuff is cheap, and I get like nine hours longevity. This stuff is so strong on me. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I asked my mom for Halloween Man X, and she picked this one up. She didn't know that there was a difference. I never heard of this one, but I love this one. So, mom, if you're watching this, thank you for making that mistake and picking me up this fragrance because I really do enjoy this fragrance. Um, great fragrance, though. That's why it gets number one. Also, because it's the only Halloween fra Halloween Man fragrance I have. Next, from the House of Burberry. We have Burberry London. Burberry London straight up smells like a pine tree with like gingerbread cookies. It smells just like Christmas, honestly. But this is a very, very nice fragrance. Spicy, it has tobacco, must have some cinnamon in there. But like I said, you get like this pine smell and almost like this gingerbread smell. Amazing fragrance. Longevity isn't the best. You will have to reapply. But this is just a good fragrance. Very cozy smelling, warm smelling. My girlfriend got this for me too. So it does hold some sentimental value. Sentimental value aside, I would still like, I still prefer this over Burberry Brit and Burberry Touch, although I do enjoy those fragrances a lot. So it deserves a number one spot. Next one from the House of Versace. You guys are probably thinking I'd go blue jeans. Did not go blue jeans because this is my all-time favorite Versace fragrance I've smelled so far. 
Versace Dylan Blue and Broxen Heavy. Aquatic has great fruit. It's fruity, obviously. Really, really nice fragrance. Great signature scent. Cheap. It's like 43 bucks. Or yeah, it's like 43 bucks for the 3.4 ounce. Amazing fragrance. If you haven't gotten it, get your nose on it. I get all day performance with mine. Amazing fragrance. It deserves that number one spot. Next one. This one is a buy. And it is from the House of Prada. Prada Luna Rosa EDT. This is in Broxen Heavy, Lavender Heavy, Mint Heavy. Super, super nice. Attractive, citrusy, powdery. Almost reminds me of Armani Code in a weird way. Um, but great, fresh, light, very attractive. I wore this to dinner uh, last night as of recording. Great fragrance. My girlfriend loves this one. Amazing fragrance. I get all day longevity out of this one as well. Great fragrance. Deserves that number one. Also because it's the only fragrance I have. Next one from the House of YSL. I'm giving uh, my favorite is YSL Wyla Parfum. Green apple, aldehydes, grapefruit, and ginger in the opening. Tonka bean and wood heavy dry down. Great signature sweet green apple that the whole YSL Y line has. Amazing fragrance, and I really do enjoy this fragrance. Next one, we have a buy, and I think the next three we will have a buy. Um, and then after that, we only have one more that has a buy. So Abercrombie and Fitch's first instinct together. 20 bucks, smells like Invictus with um, some florals in there. Beautiful fragrance. I get like six to seven hours of longevity. It is not that strong though. I go about like one, two, three, four, five, six sprays with this fragrance. So not that strong. You can't overspray it, but it's super cheap and it's, I would say, a hidden gem. Great fragrance. You want Invictus, but you're on a budget. Definitely look for this one. And it has a cool like warp design on the bottle. But again, only Abercrombie and Fitch fragrance I have. Next, from the House of Victor and Rolf, only Victor and Rolf fragrance I have, Spice Bomb Night Vision EDT, but this is my favorite Spice Bomb. Super nice, citrusy, woody, slightly spicy, peppery, has a chili pepper, not a chili pepper, but it has like a, a red hot pepper note or something like that. Great fragrance though, Tonka Bean Wood Heavy Dry Down. Beautiful, just doesn't really last, but I love this scent. Next, from the House of Rasasi, again, this one is a buy. Rasasi Huas, smells like Invictus on steroids. Synthetic take has a nice plum note, almost bubblegum type sweetness. Amazing fragrance. I get 11 hours of longevity. This is probably one of, if not my most strongest fragrance in my collection. Great fragrance. Oh, I almost dropped that. Next from the House of Valentino. So I guess this one has a buy too. The next two will be a buy. Um, so I guess we had another run of five. Interesting. We're having runs of five. We had two runs of five so far. House of Valentino goes to Born and Roma Intense, Lavender, Vetiver, Vanilla, Simple Three Note Breakdown. Almost gives me like a makeup y vibe. I know I'm crazy because Iris gives people a makeup y vibe, but this gives me a weird makeup y vibe. But I absolutely love this fragrance. Great. Definitely stretches its versatility as well. People say it's just a cool weather fragrance. I disagree. This is a warm weather fragrance too. Just don't overspray it. But great fragrance and good longevity as well. Next from the house of Nautica, Nautica Voyage, the TikTok hype beast. And now you're cringy if you wear it. Green apple, fresh, aquatic, slightly woody, and honestly, not that bad. I really did not like this fragrance a lot. I, okay, I really liked it when I first got it, then I didn't like it, and now I'm back to liking it. Amazing. I wear this as like a gym scent whenever I go to play basketball or whenever I go to work out. This is what I wear. Amazing fragrance, though, in my opinion. My mom really likes this stuff, too. Every time I've worn this, I get a lot of compliments from her. Um, she says she really likes the scent, and it's like 20 bucks. So if you want something that it seems like the ladies like more, not even just saying that because my mom's giving me compliments, but that's what I've kind of heard is that the ladies enjoy Nautica Voyage more than guys do. You know, give it a shot. My girlfriend likes this too. So I guess that's a tell, uh, telltale sign that women do like it more. But Nautica Voyage, good fragrance. Next from the house of John Paul Gaultier, I'm giving you, I'm saying Ultramol. I would have gone LeBeau except for the fact that LeBeau is really good in the warm weather and okay in the cool weather. And Ultramol is amazing, you know, amazing, really good in the cool weather and still good in the warm weather. So that's what I have to do. Also, stronger than LeBeau. I don't know if I would prefer the scent over it. I do like the scent, but LeBeau and Ultramol honestly could have tied for the number one spot. So if, you know, do what you will with that information. I just gave it to Ultramol because it, it's, it's just such a relaxing scent. I mean, so is LeBeau, but you can't beat the small Ultramol. So that's why it deserves the number one spot. From the house of Calvin Klein, CK1 Shock, Lavender uh, Tobacco Heavy Fragrance. Probably the best intro to tobacco fragrance you can get. 20 bucks for a 3.4 ounce, nice, spicy. And when the tobacco goes away, you just get this nice powdery lavender scent behind. Great fragrance, great buy for 20 bucks. 
decent longevity, a good budget winter fragrance, deserves a number one spot. And the only other Calvin Klein fragrance I have is CK1. Um, which CK1 just doesn't last, but it's a nice scent. And last one in this video, drum roll please. You guys haven't seen it, so you guys know exactly where I'm going with this. If you follow my channel, from the house of Armani, Stronger With You EDT, Chestnut Vanilla Combo, Sugary Sweet, has a smoke note, has a lavender note as well. Amazing fragrance, my favorite fragrance of all time. I didn't even mean to put it in the last place spot. That's just where it ended up. But great fragrance. And I do have a couple other Armani fragrances. I have Armani Code EDP. I have Aqua de Gio Profondo. And I have Stronger With You Intensely. But this just deserves the number one spot. So I guess a good fragrance to end off the video with. Let me know if you guys were surprised with some of these fragrances. I took over another one from the houses. I know maybe you guys were surprised I went Dylan Blue instead of Blue Jeans. Or maybe you were surprised I went, for example... I went Mont Blanc Legend over like Mont Blanc Individual or something like that. But like I said, let me know if anything interested you guys in this video. I hope you all have a great day. I just kind of wanted to do this video because it was interesting to me. I'd never really seen a whole lot of people do this. Granted, I have seen some people, but this isn't like a huge topic like some other videos I do. So wanted to do that because this was just a video that I wanted to do for a while, as I said. Um, so sorry if this video was kind of boring, kind of dragged on for a little bit. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe, everyone.